Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and today I am in the meat wagon, the Alwyn Farm meat wagon. I, I don't know what else we're going to call it. Talking to Joe Smith. Joe, what do you call this? It's Glen Alwyn Farm, and this is our trailer that we have two freezers in, always plugged in. Right. So let's say it's the trailer at the farmer's market. There's uh, freezers full of beef and lamb raised here in the Comox Valley. Tell me about when you started raising meat. Well, actually, my family's been raising it and my husband's family since they came here in 1884. Mm -hmm. They used to sell it uh, to the mines at Cumberland mm -hmm. and uh, my father-in-law took it up there with oxen cart. So you can imagine it was a good day's, day's trip. Right. And he'd always buy shoes. Every we've still got a, a an account book, and he has all these shoes. Every time he went to market, he bought shoes. We couldn't figure it out. They were twenty five cents a pair. Well, I guess they were horseshoes and mm -hmm. oxen shoes. Just a little bit of history. Right. So how far? Like so, wh where was that farm? Uh, it's still where we are today, up on the co corners Smith Road and the Island Highway. So overlooking so so what used to be called Solemn School, the North Island Distance Education uh, Facility. So uh, how big is your farm? 190 acres. And uh, how much of that is in pasture? Well, basically the buildings are on it and we might have a total of five acres of bush over the farm. Mm -hmm. But there's a creek running through it in the highway so that takes a little bit off it. Now what's special about the meat that you raise? Like how is it different from what I might buy in a grocery store? Well, to start with, we know where it's come from. It's born on the property. Mm -hmm. It stays on the property. It's grass fed, no hormones or chemicals. Um, it pastures all summer. It's fed just, they're fed just silage in the winter, which is chopped up grass. And when they're butchered, they only have a mile to go to Gunters, where the government inspected too, before and after they're butchered. Right. Now, uh, I know you from the market here. Do you sell anywhere else? Uh, we do sell to locals and we have sold to Avenue and a few other of the smaller places. We sell at Campbell River in the summertime at the market and we sell from home if they'd just like to phone us first so we make sure that there's somebody on the farm. Right. So how long have you been at the market? Eight years now. Uh -huh. So uh, is the market an important place for you guys, for your farm? Oh, very important. We haven't missed any markets in four years here. And uh, everything, approximately 90% of our sales are through the market here, and it does bring customers to the farm, which is good. Right. So uh, what do you like about being at the market? Oh, I like meeting my customers, and uh, I don't know, it's a nice sociable place to be, friendly. Everybody gets along with each other. It's very nice. Hey, you've got uh, over 100 acres in pasture. How many uh, How many head of livestock have you got? We've got about 40 cows, and then we'll have um, sometimes up to 40 yearlings and some new calves already. It just comes and goes, How the, you know, depending how much meat we're selling. And it's, better, uh, it's yeah. better to have it on the hoof than sitting in the freezer. Right. And on the, on the sheep and lamb side? Uh, should be a hundred ewes I think they sheared just a few weeks ago and um, we like to get about 180 percent of lambs mm -hmm. so you know we'll, we'll keep a certain percentage back for replacement and then the rest all go through the market. Now y you told me about mutton so I have this idea that mutton tastes strong and bad but you say it doesn't so tell me about that. No it doesn't I think that's uh, well, you could call it an old soldier's tale, I guess, but um, we've never found it that way, and we sell a lot of mutton oh. here, and uh, especially the South Africans, the Australian, the English, they really like the mutton, oh. and uh, they'd rather older animals to start with. Okay. Now, uh, later on in February, there will be a little bit of a celebration of meat here at the Comox Valley Farmers Market. Uh, I'm not sure what role you might play in that, but I want you to talk about some of the value-added products. So it's not just roasts and cuts of meat here, but more stuff that happens here, right? Okay. Uh, yes. We have... Um we have pepperoni here. We usually have regular honey garlic or hot. And it, this time it's packaged. Uh, sometimes we have it in long sticks. It's all our own beef. And it's done at Gunter's. And then we have um, beef jerky. 
all from our own beef and we have hot teriyaki and regular are these big sellers they are big sellers especially the pepperoni in the summertime yeah. and uh, more jerky in the winter and um, besides that that i always forget to tell people is we have wool we have rovings we have quilt bats we have three ply and um, we even have fleece that haven't been washed if anybody phones and i can bring it here okay so uh, beef lamb some mutton if you want it uh, jerky pepperoni wool and fleece, all at Glen Alwyn Farm, Comox Valley Farmers Market. Thanks a lot, Joe Smith. Thanks, Hans. It's a pleasure talking with you. Uh, I hope to see you soon down here at the uh, Comox Valley Farmers Market. Thanks for watching. Food local, wanna know my fish swam up a stream. I like my food local, wanna know that my hens can roam. I like my food to come from my home.